Hey guys, how's it going? And in the last video, I showed you how to evaluate a definite integral using the INTG function of Scilab. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you another function that can be used to evaluate a definite integral, and it is integrate. So, here is the function that we'll be using. Then, it takes up four arguments as opposed to the INTG function, which, which took three arguments and the best part about this function is that you don't need to define the function that you need to integrate separately and what you can do is you can just enter the function that you need to integrate right here now let's say I want to integrate sine of x with respect to x then what I need to do is I need to enter um, a code like this so the first argument or the parameter is actually the function that I'll be integrating in this case it is sine x and make sure that you enclose it in uh, you know quotes so it is an expression and the second argument in the quotes is x which tells the computer to integrate the, fu the function in the first argument with respect to the variable x then the third argument is just the lower limit of the integral and the fo fourth argument would be the upper limit of the integral. So just do that and here is a function with which you can evaluate the integral of sine of x with respect to x from 0 to 2. So let's see, let's just run it on our Scilab console and look at the result and uh, it is working so that's it and you can even experiment with a variety of functions and check to see if the answers are correct or not so let's say if i integrate x squared so with respect to x so the integration of x squared is x cubed by 3 so if the upper limit is 3 then i should get 9 right so the answer is 9 so it definitely works and it is a better way of integrating if you want to save time um, by not having to define a function separately and you what you can do is you can just define the function as you use the function integrate so that's it and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any doubts or queries then just drop them in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. So see you next time.